Hello everyone, this is Amber and I want to thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are continuing on today with the mini series of making mini albums with two sheets of 12 by 12 paper. I'm working with this gorgeous collection here called Wonders by Paige Evans and we're on album number three today. So if you missed the first two, I'm going to link them right up here for you. But let's go ahead and get started on album number three. Okay, so these are the two sheets that I'm going to be using for album number three. And it's this one here. Of course, double-sided. I just love this paper. It is so pretty. It looks like wallpaper. So, so beautiful. So these are the two sheets we're using for album number three. And this one is so, so easy as well. Let's go ahead and get started. Making sure this is a true 12 inches. So again, I'm gonna save these. I keep saving them all from the other ones too. I haven't used any yet. So now we're gonna cut these down and I just wanna tell you this album was inspired by a channel and her name is Carrie. I'm gonna link her channel below. She did a very similar version. She was the inspiration for this and this video was so long ago and I remembered it. So I love her videos and she used to make mini albums a lot back like several years ago. This is inspired by her. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut both sheets down the same exact way, very easy. We're going to cut this down to two six inch strips. Okay, so just cut it down the middle at six. We have two six by 12 here. Same thing with this sheet. Just cut it down the middle at six inches. So now three of these are going to become your pages of your album. So you need to decide whether you want it like this or do you want it like that? You know, like which one do you want two of? I think that I want to have the pink stripe, the flower, and the blue. So these are the three I'm gonna put aside. Now with this, we're just gonna cut this down. So it's already six inches. We're gonna cut it down to two inches. We're gonna cut this down further later on in the video. So I'm first putting this little two inch piece in and here's the two inches up here. I'm going to be scoring this every half inch. So we're going to score this at a half, at one, and at one and a half. So again that was one half, one, and one and a half. So you don't have to score these, you can just simply fold them in half, but since I have my scoreboard out. We're gonna put these in 12 inches up here and score them each in half at six inches. This is gonna become like a little six by six pocket album. It's really, really cute and really easy. Okay, so let's just take the sheets now and fold them in half on the score line and remember the patterns that you chose. So we're gonna do one flower one, one pink one, and a blue one. So here's our three pages and then take this little sheet that you scored and you're just going to fold accordion style on all the score lines. So now you have like four little sections. So here's a valley right in the middle. You want to add glue to the valley. So I'm just going to use my ETG gun. And don't go over the score line, but just add glue to both of those sides of the valley. That's what it looks like. There's like the mountain. There's the valley. And we added glue in there. So you're just going to meet those up and glue that down with the glue that you just added. So then you can just burnish it with your bone folder if you want. So now what we have is the valley closed in. And now we have a flap here, a flap in the middle and a flap here. Three little flaps, it looks like. Okay, so this is like almost done. Like we're, this is super easy. So then you're gonna take these sheets and where the opening is, right here, you're gonna actually sandwich onto those little flaps like this. So these are each half of an inch flaps. So I'm just gonna add glue to the very, very edge here 
and just do half of the flap so that's like a quarter inch so you can eyeball it but we're going to use wet glue here so that way we can make sure to get all the pages straight and you'll see what that looks like in just a second so i have you zoomed in for this because let me show you how this is going to work so here's your first flap here's your second flap here's your third flap so you're going to add glue to both sides of each flap one at a time and again you're only going to go about halfway from the straight edge of the flap in and you add your glue. So just, you can eyeball it. And that's why we're using wet glue because then you can have time to straighten it out with all the other pages. So we add a glue to that side and then we're gonna add glue to the other side of the flap just by that edge. Okay, so now this is where you decide which is going to be your cover. I think I actually want the blue to be my cover. So I'm going to take the opening side and I'm going to sandwich that right on the flap. You can be rough with it at first just to get it on there. So I just want it to go about halfway. Do you see what I'm doing there? There's the score line and then there's the edge. So you just want it to be about halfway glued on so it's like a quarter of an inch glued onto that flap same on the other side and that's why we're using what again that's why we're using the wet glue so we can make sure everything's straight and lined up so now i'm just gonna press it down so that was our first flap Okay, so now that page is on there. I'm gonna turn it and here's our second flap. We're gonna do the same thing. So I think I'm gonna use this pink stripe paper next. So again, add glue about a quarter inch from that edge. And this is gonna be really important because now you've gotta make sure this page is lined up straight with the other one. So take your page where your opening is again and just sandwich it on there and it makes it a little bit easier because now you have a guide to go on of where your page should go on the flap. Kind of press it just a little, not permanently yet because you want to be able to move it around if you need to. Make sure it's lined up with your other page. Okay, let's see if that, yep, that's pretty even. All right, so now we can go ahead and press it down and it's nice and even with your first page. All right, so now here we go. We have the first flap, we have the second flap, and then here's our third one. So do the exact same thing with this one. got this like different colored spine now and everything is super even because we use the wet glue so these become top loading pockets is what they are so what you can do now is go through and glue the bottom so the bottom seals up like a pocket so just a very thin bead right at the bottom is instead of doing like a pull notch on all of them, I think I'm just gonna do it in the middle. And the other ones can look like just regular pages even though they have pockets. So I'm just gonna do it on the middle page so that cute little paper shows through. And so the scrap that we have left measures 10 by six. I'm just gonna cut it in half at five. So I'm just gonna cut this in half at five. It gives us two photo mats, and I think I'm gonna round the corners. I'm gonna use the quarter inch side of my corner chomper. This just makes it look a little bit more like a photo mat, a little more finished. And I'll stick one in here. So these are, again, five by six. 
so it's going to stick up a little bit. You can cut that down or just keep it like that. I think it looks cute being taller than the page. And then I'll stick one back here. And these have plenty of room for pictures or embellishments. And then we just have our cover. So this is like pretty much done. Wasn't that like the easiest one yet? But imagine all the pictures you can add. And Carrie, um, in her video, she added pictures and it looks so good. So I'm going to link hers below for sure. That's where I got the inspiration for this. Okay, so with those cut apart sheets that I had mentioned that I'm allowing myself to use along with the chipboard stickers and the ephemera pack, I pulled a few little items here and I'm just going to try to use these to decorate the album up and I'm going to speed this up and set it to music so I hope you enjoy. pictures, add flowers and ribbon, whatever you want. I just did a very simple cover and I think those two chipboard stickers are so pretty. I hope that's focusing. Let me shine the light because it's very sparkly. It's so pretty. So there's my cover and we've got these nice thick six by six pages. This here can fit anything behind it. Pictures can be glued down there. Same with this. This is a big pocket as well. This is a pocket too. So there's a pocket there for more pictures to go inside. And then I put a journaling spot and a photo mat inside this pocket. And we have a little notch up there. And then there's room for pictures on this page. I added a pocket with those two journaling cards. I just turned it over. And you can fit lots of ephemera and pictures and journaling spots in there. And I just glued a little die cut down. And here is the photo mat for this one. And that just goes right back in the pocket. So again, I think I want to make a bunch of these for like fall and Christmas. I think that would be such a nice craft fair item but these were so fun to make. I'll link the channel again below that I was inspired by to make this. And I hope that you guys will give it a try. This is album number three, and I hope that you will catch the next video for album number four, made with two pieces of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Bye.